Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Callie, I am a second year law student who is moving back to New York in a few days. I've been home for this whole pandemic since it's been over a year now. Um, I just woke up, which is why I'm having trouble thinking. Um, it is Sunday, it's 7.30. I thought we could do a little Sunday morning routine. I love filming morning routines. Um, and this is gonna be, it's my last weekend at home before I move back to New York. Obviously I'll come home and visit all the time, but anyway, I wasn't planning on getting up until eight. So I think I'm just going to lay in bed and listen to my audiobook for a half an hour until my alarm goes off. I'm just going to chill, turn my audiobook on, and like, relax. But I will see you guys in like a half an hour once I actually get up. It's a little past 8 now. I'm feeling much more awake. So we're going to get up. So we're going to get up and start our day. I'm going to go strip my bed right now and put all the bedding in the wash as we do every Sunday if you guys watch my TikTok and vlogs. It just like, it's the best feeling going into a new week with like all fresh bedding and I love to clean my room every Sunday and just like, I don't know, it feels really good going into the week with a nice clean room. So I'm going to strip the bed right now. Okay, I'm putting my laundry in right now, and I will rave about this detergent in literally every single vlog. It's amazing. It's the Le Labo Centel 33. The scent is so nice, and it lasts so long, too. It's definitely a little more expensive, but it's also a concentrate, so it lasts for a long time. And Bloomingdale's is having their friends and family sale right now, so this is 25% off for like six more days. I'll link it in the description. It's amazing. I can't recommend the detergent more. Hey guys, I just got dressed. I'm making a smoothie now. I'm never really hungry first thing in the morning, but I'm about to go for a walk, so I'm just going to make a little smoothie to start the day off. And I also have like bad allergies right now. I need to take Claritin, and you can't do it on an empty stomach. So I'm just doing a this is a tropical fruit blend, strawberry, mango, banana, and then I like pineapple to add to. And then I always talk about these, not sponsored, but I do love them and work with them on TikTok. This is Aura Organic. I love all their products. This is their collagen, which is just really good for glowy skin. Your body slows production of collagen when you're like 25, so I'm getting close, but taking like extra collagen just helps make your skin more glowy, hydrated, have better elasticity. And I think about Aura, once again, not sponsored, is that their products are all vegan. So this is an actual collagen because like most collagen comes from the bone of an animal. This is just collagen boosting powder. So instead of like taking actual bone derived collagen, it's just gonna boost the collagen production, like directly the collagen that works with your skin where like if you take the bone collagen like real collagen it sometimes doesn't go to your skin it will go to other places in your body but this like ensures just for your skin so i do one scoop of the vanilla collagen powder and one scoop of the easy being green powder which just gets my veggies in has like a bunch of different greens and then this is my favorite almond milk the califia farms coconut almond just so good it's on I just do a splash of that. I like them so bad at doing ratios. And then to prevent, like, you know how, like, smoothies will get that weird starchy taste sometimes? I always add just, like, a little splash. This is blood orange juice just because that gets rid of, like, the weird starchy consistency that they'll get sometimes. So I'm just going to go blend this. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, here are my liquids for this morning. I always also drink like one to two big glasses of water just to start the day because when you sleep, you don't drink water for like eight to 10 hours. So you definitely get really dehydrated. This always wakes me up and just makes me 
feel good. And I'm also going to add to my second glass of water some of this detox water. This is by, is it Sakara or Sakara? These are just chlorophyll drops. They have a pack that comes with, hold on, I'll show you. They have this pack you can get that comes with chlorophyll and then with chlorophyll. And then you can also get their beauty water, which is just mineral drops as well. And I am obsessed with these. If you guys ever get like juice from a juice cleanse place, mineral water and chlorophyll water is so expensive. So this definitely saves money because you can make it yourself. So love that. Also, we've got quite the vitamin array. I take care of little packets. There's like a probiotic, um, veggie omega, multivitamin, and ashwagandha, which is supposed to help with anxiety. And then from Aura Organic, I take their good skin day every day, which has literally helped my skin so much. By the way, I have a discount code below, so I will put that on the screen right now and also in the bio. Um, oh my goodness, Cleo, what is it? Oh my goodness, what do you need? What is it? I love you. I'm trying to film a video. Anyway, then I take the apple cider vinegar, two of these. They're good for your digestion, digestion and your immune system. Magnesium, which also helps with anxiety and migraines. I get really bad and root migraines. And then some Zyrtec. Oops. Because I cannot pick this up. Because my allergies are like through the roof. So add my drops right now actually to this glass of water. How many do you add? One full dropper. So yeah, this always like freaks me out. I drink it with a straw. It doesn't taste bad. It has like a little minty taste and like it just tastes like minerally, but just like the green color kind of always freaks me out. But I'm just gonna stir it one second. Anyway, it's not as scary as it looks. I call this a detox just because it's really good for your gut and digestion. And I've been like stressed eating like crazy. I woke up with actually such a bad stomach ache. So I'm gonna chug this and not think about the fact that it looks like murky lake water. Also, I'm finally starting a new book. I read my last one so slow. Um, I'm reading Who is Maud Dixon, which one of you guys DM me and said you started. So I'm going to DM you back when I finish it so we can talk about it. But I will link this below if any of you guys want to read it with me. And I know on TikTok like three or four months ago, I talked about starting a book club. I promise it's still happening. I'm just gonna start it in the summer because this semester has been so stressful, but I promise that is happening. And yeah, I just like to read in the morning with breakfast. Not oh, this is like a full breakfast smoothie, but um, I don't like to look at my phone in the morning because it just gives me anxiety. So. I just got home. I'm gonna go take a shower now, but I got another Loops Beauty package. So I order them. You can order like the eco-friendly option without the gel case. I got the gel case the first time because I didn't know, and it is a cute little holder, but then there's like the option to order without. Then there's the option to order without, so I do that every time now. And yeah, so we got, this is the nighttime mask which i love this one so much i use it all the time and then i also got a new one which i'm very excited to try this one is their clean slate mask which i'm going to use today they always give little info cards with each mask you get so this is their clean slate mask that's supposed to be a little detox after a workout or just whenever which I usually stay away, Nebby's on the counter, of course. I usually stay away from detoxifying masks just because I have dry skin and a lot of them usually dry your skin out. But this one specifically says it's super hydrating. So it won me over. 
It's got a natural exfoliant that deep cleans, water full of amino acids to hydrate skin, aloe vera, which is also hydrating, and shea seed cake extract, which detoxifies and protects. So I'm going to go take a shower now and do this mask, which I'm so excited to try. I love doing new masks. doing my clean slate mask now feels really really nice and like kind of cooling i am just obsessed with all of their masks like i by the way i have a towel on if you can't tell <laughs> i'm obsessed with all their masks just like the gel vibe it's all of their masks are so cooling and nice and i swear like these are the only masks that like I actually see instant results. Most masks, I'm kind of like, eh, did this do anything? Did this not do anything? But these masks never fail me. I'll link it below. Like I'm obsessed. Every single mask is amazing. I love them. Guys, I just went downstairs and grabbed all of my bedding. And while my mask is sitting, I'm going to make my bed, which I hate doing because today is duvet cover day. But the good news is, this is my last time doing my duvet cover for a while. Obviously, like, I'm still going to visit home and wash my bedding, but maybe I'll leave that to my mom since I'll be a visitor. And as you guys, if you watched my last vlog, my new comforter is not a duvet because I cannot mentally handle living with the pain of a duvet cover anymore. I just can't. So this is the last day. I can handle it. I can do it. I'll see you guys in like a half an hour when this is done because it literally takes me half an hour to make my bed. Three million hours later, my bed is finally made. Literally took so long. Now I'm going to wipe down everything. I just vacuumed and now I'm just going to wipe down all these surfaces. This is my favorite cleaner ever. I talk about it all the time. I got it on Revolve. I'll link it below. It's Coconut Calm and it literally smells so amazing it makes my whole room smell like coconuts in the best way possible it just smells literally like coconut oil and it's non-toxic which is really good especially for pets because cleo and luna and nebby all walk on all surfaces and yeah i don't want them licking like bleach off their paws so i love this stuff i will link it below but it's amazing anyway i'm just gonna finish cleaning this and then blow dry my hair. I'm gonna blow dry my hair now. It's basically pretty much air dried, but I'm gonna blow dry what leftover has to be dried. So I hate blow drying my hair, but gotta do what you gotta do. So. I forgot to mention I'm blow drying at my desk because sitting down while you're blow drying your hair in like a comfy chair makes it so much more tolerable. Okay, I'm about to go run errands, but before I go, I'm going to do a little unboxing, kind of. This box is a huge, big box. It's a huge, big box from Thrive Market, which I'm doing a TikTok with. So if you want to see what I got... Check out my TikTok, I'll put it on the screen right now, and I will also link it below. And then I also and then I also got a package from Aritzia because I have been staring at these sweatpants for like months now, and I was like, I don't need another pair of sweatpants, but I couldn't stop thinking about them. So and Nebby's here to help me unbox per usual. Okay, here they are. They're already just by feeling so soft. These are the Cozy AF TNA, I think they're called, yeah, the Cargo Boyfriend Sweatpant, which I think they're so cute because they have the little cargo pockets, and then they're wide-legged, which I'm so, or not wide-legged, they're just like a boot cut, but I love that. I think these will be 
so cute i'm obsessed and then i also just got a tank top these are supposed to both be in heather chrome which they definitely or actually maybe the heather chrome was sold out of this yeah this is heather cloud anyway oh my gosh luna i got a little tank top to go with it too because i never have too many basic tank tops i want to order the boyfriend zip up for this too but i haven't yet because it's back orders so i'm gonna wait a little bit but very exciting hi guys i'm off to run some errands now if you look behind me my car is packed full uh, my mom and i like packed this car just to see how much stuff we could fit in here for new york and then my dad is taking the rest and meeting us down there a few days later and then i'm probably going to i think mail my clothes which really that scares me a lot so i think i'm gonna mail like Sorry, my windshield wipers. I'm gonna mail the not as nice clothes. Like, I love all of my clothes, but there's some that I'd be like, oh my god, are you kidding me? That I lost, and some that I would be sad if I lost any of my clothes, but you get what I mean? I'm gonna mail the less valuable clothes and then pack the more valuable ones with me. But anyway, that's why it looks like that back there. Um, this morning routine is going a little over morning. I'll probably end it when I get home just because I have to show you guys my bagel because you know we get jalapeno cheddar every Sunday and I haven't gotten it yet. So anyway, it's 12 o'clock. We're going to go get Starbucks. I picked it up because my cream that I love has literally been sold out every time I go. And it's literally the only cream I like. So I ordered a Starbucks. I got a cold foam, sweet cream, cold foam, cold brew. But I added some caramel drizzle, so I have that ordered to pick up, so I don't have to wait in line. And then I have to go to the grocery store for a few things, which I definitely can only get a few things because I only have the passenger seat clear. And then I'm going to pick up my bagel, and then read for the rest of the day, and yeah, anyway, let's go. Okay guys, secured the Starbucks. I got a sweet cream cold, what did I get? Yeah, grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew with cold foam and to spice it up i added some caramel drizzle i tried to i tried to add the brown sugar topping but apparently they were out anyway pretty good i'm still partial to my coffee but like i'm unable to make it right now so this will have to do that's pretty good the caramel drizzle makes it taste like pretty good that's my take on it it's, it's pretty good okay i'm dreading this why is the grocery store always so crowded on sunday and like especially rainy days i feel like everyone decides to go to the grocery store including myself i get why it's crowded on a sunday that was a dumb question i just i don't like that it's crowded I don't want to go, but we're here. We're going. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, I secured the jalapeno cheddar bagel, which I was nervous because usually when I go to the slate, they don't have any left, but they did. And I got a macaroni as well. And I'm just going to put some salt on the macaroni, which is key. And the other key ingredient is Frank's Red Hot. So, I'm gonna eat this right now and finish my Starbucks, which is not as good as my own coffee, but I can't get my cream, so I don't really have a choice. I need to get some like um, shower products. I shipped most of my stuff to New York. Like I ordered stuff on Sephora and shipped it, but there's this shower oil I love from Ulta. And basically, uh, yeah, I'm like, not bringing any of my shower products from home here with me back to new york just so like when i come home i'll have them all here like when i come to visit and won't have to like bring products with me or buy new ones so yeah and i hate traveling with like open bottles of stuff because they always spill always so we're gonna go to ulta right now and pick up some shower oil and i'll probably get something else because i have issues <laughs> Ulta 
haul. I didn't really get anything that exciting, but, oops, sorry. My windshield wipers are still going. Okay. I got a beauty blender because, why are my windshield wipers still going? I got a new beauty blender because I'm so disturbingly bad at um, changing them. I got my last one like two months ago, but that's probably still too long. And the one before that, you don't want to know how long I had it. So, I got that. And then my mom wanted me to pick her up mascara. So she wanted a waterproof and a regular. So I got her that. And then I got myself the same one. This Lancome Moncier Big. I used to love this mascara so much. And then for some reason, I just stopped using it. I don't know why. But it's like such a good mascara. So... It reminds me of like sophomore year of college. Maybe. I don't know when it reminds me of, but I love it. And then I got a Buxom plumping gloss. Buxom has like really good, they have a really good plumping chapstick that I think I showed you guys in a vlog like so long ago, but I got this in the shade, what is it? The shade Tanya. Let's try it on. Oh my gosh, that's stuck on there. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's a pretty cute color. She's cute. I will say it's a little bit sticky, but it's not like a sticky that lasts forever. Like, you're just going to have to rub your lips together a few times, and then the stickiness goes away. Yeah, I like it. I love Buxom's plumping... You can't talk. I love Buxom's plumping glosses and, like, plumping bombs as well because no shades of Too Faced because I do love the Too Faced lip injection but we all know it hurts like it genuinely hurts and with Buxom there's no weird like tingling or pain it just like makes your lips feel I guess like cool like there's like a cooling effect but there's no like burn or anything so I really like it and then last thing is what I like came to get which is just this shower oil it's my favorite oh, I want to focus hello I'm even doing the YouTube hand there it is. Anyway, it's the Nature in a Jar by Philosophy, which I'm obsessed with. I love it. It has, what does it have? Yeah, it's cannabis sativa seed oil, which is super hydrating and calming. I have psoriasis and eczema, so it really helps moisturize and like calm at the same time. I love this. And you just put it on right when you get, like right before you get out of the shower. So like turn the shower off and then lather this on and then when you get out you just like kind of pat dry with your towel and not like rub it but super hydrating and easy to put on because like there's some days i try to put on lotion after every shower but there's some days i'm just so lazy but like that takes two seconds and then like at least we got some moisture so love that all right guys on that note it's time to go home and read hi guys it is now 3:21. So, this definitely was not totally a morning vlog, but it's also not like a full day vlog. Anyway, I'll figure out what to title it later. But I'm going to read now. I actually forgot, so I don't have our spring break we got. We got like a Thursday off two weeks ago, and they're giving us this Wednesday off, which I forgot, so... Yay, spring break. Can't wait. That's totally helpful for our mental health to have one day off versus a week. Anyway, I have to read for trademark and criminal procedure. At least I got corporations out of the way on Friday. But I'm going to end this vlog off here. And my next vlog, I will be in New York, guys, which is crazy. So I'm not totally sure. I know, so I usually upload, as you guys know, on Mondays at 11 a.m. and Fridays at 11 a.m. But I don't know for sure if there will be a Friday vlog up this weekend just because it's going to be crazy moving in and like want to spend time with my family while we're moving into my new apartment. So there might not be one up on Friday. I'm definitely gonna do an empty apartment tour. So if there is one up on Friday, it will be that. But if not, I should have one up on Sunday. So 
if I'm missing on Friday, that's why. Um, but yeah, anyway, I love you guys. Oh, also, there will be um, a, another vlog up this week. Um, I'm not sure exactly what day, but I did a little try on haul with a brand. So that will be up later this week. So keep your eyes out for that if you want to see it. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe this video if you want to. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. It makes me very happy. And also, I always link my Instagram and TikTok below if you want to follow me on there. You don't have to, but you're welcome to. And I'll also, I always link everything I talk about in this vlog down in the description below as well. So... I'm sad I'm not ready to say goodbye to you guys today. I've been enjoying our day together, but I guess it's time to go. I don't want to read. I really don't want to read. Okay, guys. I love you. I hope you have a great week. Make good decisions. Stay safe. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself a break when you need one. And I love you all so much, and I will either see you... On Friday or Sunday, but probably Sunday. Okay. Love you guys. See you next week in New York. Talk soon.